Good afternoon, everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. This afternoon, I am going to show you a gorgeous car. 1970 Dodge Challenger Convertible. Now, this car is finished in plum crazy purple with the white accent stripes. This car is badged as an RT, it is not an RT. set of 17 inch aftermarket magnum 500 one piece aluminum wheels this car has a lot of options from the factory this car came with a 383 and under the hood with a 727 heavy duty automatic torque flight transmission now currently this car has a 440 magnum v8 under the hood this car has factory power steering factory power brakes factory air conditioning it does have disc brakes on the front of it with drilled and slotted rotors Beautiful white interior in this car, white convertible top. Just a super, super nice car. This is a very, very clean car. It came out of Colorado, so it's very, very nice. The paint body interior in this car is very nice. Um, I call it a, a seven and a half out of 10 paint wise. Um, it's been done, for, I'd say probably for 15, 20 years, maybe more. So it's got a few little imperfections in it, but a beautiful car. This car, you can take it to a car show, cruise in, win trophies with it. You're going to be very, very happy with this car. I'm probably over particular on a lot of my cars, but we sell these cars all over the country and all over the world. And when these cars get delivered to your garage, I want them to be exactly like I told you they were going to be. I don't sugarcoat anything. I tell you exactly how things are. This is how we do business here at Canyon Classics. Gorgeous car, super solid. It's got a, a little uh, chip out of the sticker there, a little wrinkle out of the sticker. That's just some rubbing compound there that didn't come off. Beautiful car. If you see any little spots, probably because I was parked underneath the uh, fuel island here a little bit ago getting fuel and uh, the uh, water started to drip down on me got a little small little small little ding here in the uh, fender of the wheel wheel molding trim nothing major does have a little spot right here that somebody looks like they may it may have touched up at one time got a little scuff in the white sticker here and if you look real close right here, you can see a small, a small crack right here. It goes from here to about right here. And a little imperfection in the paint right here. The chrome bumpers in this car are in great shape. Um, except for maybe it has a couple little water spots that I didn't get wiped off. Same thing, it's got a little, a little tiny little thing right here in this wheel well molding. Being pretty picky, you guys. I, I like I say, I try to show you everything that I see in these cars as I'm walking around them. Interior of this car is absolutely gorgeous. White interior. It does have the factory center console. That was one of the options. Factory center console with the wood grain trim. Dash in this car is in great shape. It's got a retro radio in it. Radio works. Carpet's in good shape, door panels are nice, side panels are in good shape. Door jams, sill plates, got some uh, Challenger RT floor mats in it. Door jams are very nice, very solid. It's a little bit of, you know, the paint's not perfect right here in these jams. Just, like I say, I point all this stuff out to you so you can see it. Same way with here. It's not perfect, guys, it's, it's very, very, nice quality driver it's not perfect super super nice solid car though. we're not going to ask a hundred thousand dollars for this car so we're going to ask i'm pretty sure we're going to ask 69.9 for this car and i don't think you're going to find a better one out there in the country for sale right now for any less money especially with all these options. 
plum crazy, beautiful plum crazy pur purple paint. Underneath the hood's very, very nice. Like I mentioned before, power steering, power brakes, factory air. The air is not currently working. MSD ignition, aluminum intake, Edelbrock carburetor. Retains the original exhaust manifolds. Bottom side of the hood's painted up. Start her up here in a second for you so you can hear it run. Same with this side, seats are in great shape. I'm sure if a guy wanted to, you wanted, I mean, it's very, very nice car. If somebody wanted to, though, they could they could mask off these jams and respray them, and you know, probably that that's up to the the new owner though i mean i i probably wouldn't mess with it but the tack is not currently working i i do have the part to fix that tack though so the tack i will have the tack working in this car providing that fixes it all the other gauges work the radio works horn works Check us out on our website, www.kenyonauto.com, K-I-N-I-O-N auto.com. We buy, sell, and trade classic cars, muscle cars, regular inventory every day. Give us a call today, boys and girls, if you're interested in buying this beautiful 70 Challenger convertible or maybe one of the other cars we have in stock. We stock over 125 collector cars. So give us a call today. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you never miss another great quality collector car.